right, we're back with our main event. It is for the HWA Heavyweight Championship, and the challenge is in the ring. Let's go to Hoss for the introduction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the HWA Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, Kaz Hayashi. And his opponent. Well, let's Kaz Hayashi to challenge the current HWA Heavyweight Champion. A man who has gone through a lot of ups and downs in his life and career over the past six weeks. A man who lost his brother to an untimely heart attack just, just right before Christmas and who took a few weeks off to spend time with his family and now has come back to entertain the HWA fans to succeed in his brother's footsteps, R.C. Haas. He is now stepping in the ring with the HWA Championship belt around his waist and Haas with the introduction of the champ. Hailing from Edmond, Oklahoma, the HWA Heavyweight Champion, R.C. Haas. And you know, Jim, what an emotional start to the new year for R.C. Haas. And I'm sure Russ must be watching from somewhere with a big smile on his face. Well, you can't, uh, you can't deny the courage and the, the intestinal fortitude of this young man who, with all that he went through, with the holidays and the death of his brother, still managed to come back at the start of 2002 with a brand new outlook and brand new determination. And he won the HWA Championship in a, in a magical moment and has since defended against all challengers. And, well, wait a minute. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing one of the, the challengers that's been right on R.C. Haas's tail, Easy Money. The former HWA champion joining us at the broadcast position. I assume you have comments to make about the current champion. Mr. Cornette, Mr. Thatcher, let me ask you a question. Charlie Haas is the heavyweight champion, is that right? That is correct. Well, I thought the definition of a champion was someone who excels above all other competitors in his or her sport. Well, R.C. Haas has never excelled above me. I've pinned his shoulders to the mat on more than two occasions that my memory can recollect. And once again, week after week, I come out here and I prove that I am the essence of innovation, the master of adaptation, and for some of these lucky ladies, Les Thatcher, a thrilling sensation. And above all that, Easy Money proves week after week that he is simply the best. Well, would you mind keeping your sex life out of this, first of all? And secondly, I know you've pinned R.C. Haas in the past. His steak used to be 20 cents a pound. What have you done for him lately? Basically, he's the champion, and until you can beat him, then that's the way it's going to stay. Well, first of all, he didn't beat me, so I don't see why I should go down in the record books as being the first ever champion to lose his belt. You know, let, let me jump in here. Submit. You know, you've been belly aching for the last two weeks about I didn't lose a fall. They didn't. Nobody beat me. Where's my title belt? Well, you know what? You were in a match where the stipulation said that if you or either one of your partners lost that match, then all three of you lost your belts, and that was the bottom line. R.C. Haas made Val Venus submit. And therein lies the story, my friend. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Talk about a momentum changer there, Kaz Hayashi, as R.C. Haas was going for that submission maneuver on the legs of Hayashi. Hayashi rolled through and just clipped Haas and, and crossed his running lights, it looks like, and Hayashi on the offense here. Easy money, I've got to say to you in front of Les Thatcher, I will admit, I'll give the devil his due, you did not. Uh, lose the championship in the ring. You were not defeated for the heavyweight championship, but you did, however, as Les said, agree to the stipulations that prevailed. So now you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to prove that you're the best by beating that man in the ring. You know, you can say all you want that I agreed to it, but I don't ever remember signing that dotted line saying that I would lose my title if Val Venus or Steve Bradley lost. I don't see it happening. Well, I think then you need to get an attorney maybe. You need to get a good lawyer, get some good representation, and uh, take this thing to court because elsewise you're uh, basically barking up the wrong tree complaining to us. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I might just have to look into that because something is definitely going to have to happen. Uh, well, you know, you'd get along well with attorneys, easy money. Less, you know the, the reason why a snake won't bite a lawyer? Why is that? Professional courtesy. <laughs> right now in the ring, Hayashi, wait a minute, pressing the current HWA champion, R.C. Haas, with it down for the count of two, but still powered out. Right, well, easy money. You know, here's the other thing. You talk about, you know, all you got to do is get in line. You were the former champion, and I'm sure that you're going to get a title shot. If nothing else, R.C. Haas is going to be a fighting champion, and I think for no other reason than just the memory of his brother. Yeah, you say that, uh, you say that I agreed to this match and all that. 
about the rules and everything. Well, why don't we stick to the rules that the former champion gets the first title shot back at the belt? Where was my title shot? I didn't get it. You know what? I, did you have that in your con? Did you have a return match clause in your contract? Sounds to me like you need more adequate representation. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I think it sounds, it. sounds like you don't know what was in that Call contract. Call a lawyer. You know, they just, just watch, the, watch the show later on tonight. I'm sure they're going to have one of those 1-800-SUMI commercials. Uh, get one of these shysters to come out here and take care of this contract problem, Easy Money. Oh, believe me, Easy Money doesn't need to dial 1-800-LAWYER. Easy Money can afford the best lawyers in the country. I just might have about 10 lawyers down here next week, if you know what I mean. Well, Les, when you come in next week, if you see a guy who looks like Johnny Cochran parking cars outside the Davis Arena, head for the hills, you're going to get served. All right. Right now, Kaz Hayashi is getting served. He just got served a right hand off the uh, shoulder of R.C. Haas. Oh, wait a minute. R.C. Haas tried to run past Hayashi. Hayashi threw that arm out, up, tripped him, Kaz. and Haas looks like, he, looks like he stunned himself on that turnbuckle. Wait a minute. Is he cut there? I can't see. There's swelling above the, the left or right. No, it's the right eye of R.C. Haas where he hit that turnbuckle. Hayashi trying to press the advantage and stay on top of the champion. Doesn't look like R.C. is excelling too much tonight, does he? Well, he's certainly groggy right now. And Kaz drop toe holds him into that turnbuckle again. And uh, it's almost like deja vu as Kaz goes to the top side. Apparently, he's going for something here. Oh. Going for that spinning DDT and couldn't get it. Is it, a, is it a jealousy thing with you, Money? Is it a jealousy thing? Can't you even have any, any compassion for the man with all that he's been through in his personal life over the past six weeks? Can't you just go out there to the ring, challenge R.C. Haas man-to-man, -man, one on one face-to-face, -face, set a time and a place for the match, and see who the best man is? You know, what? you know what? There's three things on this earth that Easy Money doesn't have. One is friends. Two is jealousy, and three is sympathy. I have no sympathy whatsoever for R.C. Haas. When we meet again in that ring, I'm gonna tear him up. R.C. Haas, wait a minute. Power slam there, hooks the leg, he's got him. No, he couldn't no. make it stick. Two Hayashi count. powered out at the, at the last second. Boy, I tell you, R.C. Haas runs in again. Hayashi, we are rapidly running low on time. We wanna thank or blame Easy Money for his comments in this one. But right now, wait a minute, that spinning DDT. Count of one, two, and no. Hayashi still on top of R.C. Haas. The champion is in trouble. We are rapidly running low on time, Les. Yes, we are. We're down to less than 30 seconds on the air. Haas going for the roll up. Gets a two count and out. Good. Looks like oh. we're gonna end up with a draw on this one. Wow. We're gonna have to say good night. For everyone here at HWA, please join us next week for more HWA Wrestling.